Before we get started with this syllabus, I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about myself and some of my credentials. I am currently a student at Tarleton University where I am on my way to earn a bachelor's degree in computer science and a minor's and associate's degree in electrical engineering. My electrical engineering associate's degree is actually coming from a community college in my area. And um, I do live in Texas, if you couldn't tell by my accent, so I hope that doesn't bother you too much. But uh, I'll try not to make it sound too Texan when I'm recording. <laughs> Um, my background in programming involves a heavy use and heavy practice of C++. I've taken many semesters in C++ at my university. I have actually taken three uh, semesters in C++ total. And I've taken a semester in MATLAB, an engineering programming language. And I currently, on the side, programming Java for Android application development and I've actually developed my own Android applications for the Google Play Store. So that being said, that's enough about me. Let's go ahead and look at what we're going to be learning for this course. So if you look on screen, I've kind of listed everything that we will be for sure going over in this class. But um, just remember that the class is not limited to this syllabus. So there's going to be things in between these um, these concepts right here that we will be going over you know so everything you see on screen is is not everything that you will learn you will actually learn much more than just everything you see here so you know if if you're a complete beginner in programming I would say that this course is definitely the perfect course for you because I'm not gonna start with just the C++ principles I'm going to actually introduce uh, the basic programming principles in general to start the course off so if you don't know anything about data types or variables we're actually going to cover that right at the beginning of the course and then we're going to move on to how to use these uh, programming concepts in C++ and develop our own useful applications and when I say useful you know the course is called practical C++ programming and that's because I think that C++ is a much funner language to learn when you're using it in practical situations. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to develop a small business application, um, a simple calculator app, and then at the very end of the course for our final project, we're going to develop a hangman game that you can show all your friends. And hopefully if I get enough students for this course and enough people uh, leave good reviews and tell me that they they want to see an advanced course, then that's <clears throat> then that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm actually going to make an advanced C++ course after this and we'll go into object oriented design and everything like that. So stay tuned for this series and I'm glad you're part of the course. Let's get started.